Oz here, and this is my first video as a Las Vegas resident. This is really exciting. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, but it's taking a while. Uh, it's taking a lot of work. Uh, packing up, moving. I'm still not fully unpacked and my studio isn't fully set up, but I am still here and still committed to sharing knowledge. Today's video, I need to tell you that sometimes people can make requests for help in Excel and they can be belligerent, demanding. That's not a good way to go. I was with such a person recently and this is how I handled it. They demanded, Oz, you better show me in Excel how to calculate the number of seconds in a year. You got that? Oh, so this is what we're doing. Okay, here we go. I've got the 1st of January of 2024 and the 31st of December. All right, how many seconds are in the year 2024? equals sequence, double click. How many rows? I want the 31st minus the 1st of January plus one to get all of the, all of the days. Comma, I don't care about the columns. Comma, start is the 1st of January, 2024 and enter. Those are all of the days in 2024. Let's change the format. I'm gonna go here, this paintbrush. All right, equals day, open parentheses, right here, D2, need the pound sign to capture the whole array, close parentheses and enter. Next, equals count ifs. Open parentheses, criteria range. I need the pound sign, comma, two, close parentheses, enter. 12 seconds in a year. <laughs> this person was stunned. I grabbed my laptop, closed it up, ran out the door. That's how I dealt with a belligerent request. <laughs> 